Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about using the include statement in PHP. Now, the include statement basically allows us to include another file inside of our PHP file. So I could set up like another PHP file or an HTML file, and then I could use this include keyword in order to essentially just use all of the code from that other file in my current file. And this is a huge topic and it's extremely useful in PHP. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys just a very basic use case. Um, essentially, we're going to define a header and a footer for our website. And then we're actually going to be able to include that header and footer um, inside of our PHP file. So I'm going to show you guys how we can do this. Now, down here, I just have a very simple file setup. It's just my HTML file. And let's say that when I'm creating my website, I want all the pages on my website to have the same header and have the same footer. So imagine that I had like 100 pages on my website and I wanted all of them to have, like I said, the same header and the same footer. And if I wanted to be able to change that header and footer, like I wouldn't want to have to go and change it on 100 different places. So what we can actually do in PHP is we could write a HTML file for the header of our website. We could write an HTML file for the footer of our website. And then using PHP, we could include the contents of those files into each one of our web pages. So I'm going to show you guys how we can do this. And it's actually pretty useful. Over here in my little file explorer, I actually created two files. I created this footer.html file and this header.html file. Now these are like the world's simplest HTML files. Um, the header is basically just a header one, and then we have a horizontal rule, it says Mike's website. And the footer is, again, just a horizontal rule, and then it says, thanks for visiting. So, you know, obviously in your own website, you can make the header and the footer as complex as your heart desires. For the purposes of this tutorial, though, I just created some simple headers and footers. So let's say that those were gonna be the headers and the footers for every page of my website. Right, so every single content page that I created on my website, I wanted that to be the header and the footer. Well, what I could do is I could actually come down here in my PHP and I could do something called uh, including those files. And essentially what this will do is it'll go out, grab all the code from those files and place it here into this PHP file. And inside of these PHP tags, I can just say include and then inside of quotation marks, I basically just want to type in the name of the file. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in header.html. So all I had to do was just say include header.html. And now all of a sudden, when I refresh my browser over here, you guys will see that that header is actually going to show up in my website. So now without having to type out any of the code for the header, without having to do anything, all I had to do was just say include header.html. And now I have all of the code for the header of my website right here. Another thing I could do is include the footer. So again, I can just kind of copy this guy and we'll come down here. And now I'm going to include footer.html. And you'll see over here, we should get that footer on the website. Yeah. So now we have the header, the horizontal rule, and then the horizontal rule for the footer. And it says, thanks for visiting. So what I could do now is I could come in here and I could, you know, basically create my HTML file. So I could, you know, write out some text, whatever. Maybe I'm writing like an article or something. And that's going to go ahead and show up in between the header and the footer. And this is really useful because what you could do is you could basically just include the header and include the footer on every single PHP file that you make. So all the different pages on your website, you can include the header and you can include the footer and then your header and your footer will automatically show up on all of those files. But what's cool about this is if I wanted to modify the header or the footer, all I have to do is come over here into this file and modify it. So instead of saying Mike's website, we could say like Mike's cool website, right? So I'm, I updated the header. I made a simple change and I actually don't have to change any of the code inside of this site.php file. I don't have to touch it and the header is automatically going to update when I refresh my page. So you see over here, now it says Mike's cool website, but I didn't have to modify any of the code in here. And the point is that if you are including the header on like a hundred or 200 pages in your website and you wanted to change it, you only have to change it in one spot and it will automatically update on all of those other pages in your website. And that's why this is so powerful. So what a lot of people will do is they'll break up their website into little reusable components. So they'll, you know, place the header of their website in its own file, the footer of their website in its own file. 
maybe you have like a navigation list or like breadcrumbs or something, you know, essentially you can place any of those things inside of their own files. And then you'll be able to use all of those different HTML components inside of your websites. So these includes are extremely useful and there's a lot of circumstances where you guys are going to want to do this. And really what this does is it makes your website more modular. So you can break your website up into these little, you know, components, and then you can just insert them into your different pages using those include statements. But really this is just scratching the surface of what these includes can do. And so in the following tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys some more about what these includes can do. And more specifically, we're gonna talk about not just including HTML files, but also including PHP files. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.